Okay, so today we are going to learn how to do a curly blow dry. Um, what you will notice, first of all, is how my model's hair is nearly dry. I always, when you're doing a blow dry, you really are just wasting your time by trying to do it from wet or, you know, too much water in your hair. Um, you can literally blow dry your hair from dry. So as you can see, that's what I've done. I've rough dried it right off. And now I'm using the brush and the hair dryer to smooth out the hair. What you'll notice with the first section is I'm blow drying it all down i'm blowing drying it all straight i'm not trying to put a curl in it because i this is like that tossled chunky tossled bob look so i always do the first layer straight so that you get a chunky bottom so this is the next section so the tools i'm using here i'm using a denman head hugger this is the large one there's four different sizes and this is the large um I mean, I use all of the four brushes. They are, if you can get a pack of four head huggers, I would get them because they all are really good and you can get different effects. So this is the large one and then there's an extra large one bigger than this. My hair dryer is a Parlux um, 3500. It is a compact, compact, so it's smaller than the rest. And I love my hair dryer. I have used a Dyson hair dryer and it was good, but I I, I, I wouldn't, I think my, my Parlox is, is just as good. Um, so you can see what I'm doing here with the sections. I should probably talk a little bit more about what I'm doing with the hair. So you you rough dry it. You get, the reason why these head huggers are good is because they, where the, the brush bends in a little bit, the hair, like you'll see as I'm doing it here, goes around the middle of that brush so well and and the um metal in it heats up so it it helps to bend the hair around the brush for any sort of bend in the hair these head huggers are by far the best brush so you can see what i'm doing here is i'm just blow drying it all curling it backwards look curling it backwards and then when you take the brush out sort of twist it round with your finger so that you keep it into like a twirly uh, look on your hair because obviously when you first take the the brush out of the hair and the hair dry away the hair's still warm so you want to like twizzle it and put it down so that it can cool down in that shape so what I always do like you can see I'm doing here is I'm just coming back pulling the pulling the, the hair round and and leaving it down your you should always use a nozzle on your hair dryer because that directs, it directs the hot air in one direction and you should always be blowing and directing the air downwards of the hair shaft. So, okay, at the back, I'm going to do the same here. I didn't think I'd be able to talk for this long, but I feel like I'm commentating on a horse race. So, as you can see, I'm blowing the air down the hair shaft. Um, and then we're going to go down, like I said uh, before, this is because I like to have a nice chunky bottom, so we'll keep that straighter. Uh, product wise, so a product that I love to use is the TG Small Talk. Now that's a, that is like a volumizing product, however I do use it on all of my clients hair because it's smoothing, but it gives the hair a really nice um, texture when you're blow drying it and, and a good hold. So what you can see here now coming around the front, so I've done the same both sides so i've blown the hair backwards away from her face and look how nice that looks oh my goodness this is a perfect tossled round brush blow dry i mean amazing a bit of elnet hairspray i love elnet hairspray would we'll just sort of finish that off and you are ready to go i'm talking over myself talking right any problems with it just let me know um but yeah good luck ladies